Hello. I'm a slightly under the weather uh, Joe Slation, managing editor of the Wabash Plain Dealer, uh, bringing you tomorrow's headlines for Friday, December 13th. I apologize in advance uh, if my voice sounds a bit rough. It's uh, I've been fighting something for a couple days now, and hopefully I'm uh, getting ready to conquer it. Uh, basically what this is, is a look at uh, some of the stories that you can find in the Plain Dealer on Friday. Some of them also are currently available online at www.wabashplaindealer.com, and they also can be found uh, via links on our Twitter and uh, Facebook pages. Leading off our newspaper on Friday is a story by reporter Nick Van Heest. Uh, on Friday, the U.S. Senate and the U.S. House of Representatives are expected to uh, vote on the 2014 Farm Bill. Now, Friday is the last day uh, that the two, two houses will meet, or the two sides of Congress will meet, uh, for 2013. Uh, they are going to be taking a Christmas break and won't return until uh, after the first of the year. Uh, if there there's some questions on what may or may not happen uh, to the farm bill if it's not yet passed uh, and it isn't uh, considered again until uh, the lawmakers return in in 2014 uh, Nick uh, spoke with US representative Jackie Walorski as well as uh, Philip Dale who's president of the Wabash County chapter of the Indiana Farm Bureau to uh, get a look at some of the uh, some of the things that could happen, including an increase in prices, uh, some are saying that uh, that won't happen because there's not enough time between Friday and when uh, Congress resumes in in January to cause any any real problem with that at, uh, with with uh, the cost of food or milk and so forth. In another story, a uh, Nick. Uh, Covered a was up in Manchester uh, on uh, Wednesday evening to cover a dodgeball tourney that was part of the sharing and caring program at the uh, at the Manchester High School. Each year, the uh, students and staff uh, work together to help raise canned goods and money for the Reach program and food pantry there in North Manchester. The Campaign continues through Monday, and organizers hope that uh, they raise more than 6,000 cans, uh, canned food items uh, for the food pantry by the time all is said and done. Also on Friday, reporter Eric Seaman takes a look at some of the changes coming up to the food stamp program in uh, January. Uh, the way these food stamps are going to be distributed have changed and it will now be based on uh, the first initial of your last name and spread over 19 days in each month. Um, the distribution will begin on the 5th of the month and should be concluded on the 23rd depending on what your last name, uh, what letter your last name begins with. He brings a uh, more on that in uh, Friday's newspaper, as well as taking a look at a new Ivy Tech, pro or not a new Ivy Tech program, an Ivy Tech program uh, that will be taking place here in Wabash, as well as uh, Peru, Kokomo, and Logansport, uh, in which students uh, receive uh, basically uh, a prep test to see uh, where, or prep placement test to see where they would place uh, in various uh, courses offered by the by the uh, community college. In sports, reporter or sports editor Justin Shockey uh, brings a recap of the uh, Wednesday night Southwood girls basketball game uh, against Miss Senawa. The Knights uh, won the contest, forty nine to thirty one. Also, uh, Justin takes a look at the Wabash Wrestling Team, which volunteered its time uh, earlier this week to help wrap gifts at uh, Wabash County Christmas Spirit. We'll bring more on that and other stories in the Plain Dealer on Friday, as well as online at www.wabashplaindealer.com and on our social media pages. Until uh, later, I'm Joe Slation, wishing you a good evening.